I really, really, really want to get your opinion on what's happening with Tom Brady and Giselle. So breaking news, you heard that she officially filed for divorce today. Did yes. you hear that? So yes. I don't well, just here right now. I heard that. No. Okay, there <laughs> it is. Breaking news. We're doing this. This <laughs> yeah. is what we're doing here at Value Tame on a Sauscast. Yep. We're breaking news. But obviously the rumors have been out there for weeks and weeks and weeks. Yeah. You know, he's retiring. He's unretiring. She's back. He's back on the field. She's unhappy. So... In my opinion, I don't think this is a good look for the institution of marriage. And I'll tell you why. Tom Brady and Giselle getting divorced. So, you know, a year ago, Marnie, if you said to me, hey, Adam, what's like the ideal marriage? Right. What's yeah. the ideal relationship? I'm mean, like, well, you got to think Tom Brady and Giselle. Here's the Super Bowl winning quarterback, GQ model looks. He's the best football player ever. Good dad, stud, multi, multi-millionaire, like... Never have anything controversial, just total epitome stud of a guy. He marries supermodel, wonderful right. woman, wonderful mother, has her supportive, own money, makes more than has her own money. Move. It's like, yeah. can you get better than that? Yeah, steps and then away now, to raise the kids. Holy Absolutely. shit. And then yeah. now it turns out she's divorcing him. So it's like, it, it sort of like triggers to me. It's like, you could be Tom Brady, stud of all studs, man of all mans, like champion, multimillionaire, stud, GQ, marry a supermodel. And at some point, she's going to be like over you. And I'm thinking, what the fuck is Giselle thinking? So in, in, <laughs> in, in your opinion, it's like, good luck, Giselle. Go finding another Tom Brady. So anyway, I'm getting a little emotional now. Maybe I'm just showing emotions, not being emotional. What do you think is going on with Giselle? Why would she file from divorce mm -hmm. for divorce with Tom Brady? I don't know the inner workings of their relationship, but like what they present to the public is very, you know, it's surface level information that they, that's what they want people to know about them. So I don't know how they get along, how they get, have conversations, how they deal with uh, bumps in the road, how mm -hmm. they deal with challenges in their families. There's so, lots of things that happen within a marriage and especially with kids where you see an, a, a different side. He may be the best quarterback, but Hey, maybe he may be a horrible communicator or he may be really, really volatile when they have their fights or she may be really volatile when they have their fights. Like there's so many things that could happen within that relationship behind yeah. closed doors well, that I don't know about. No, I get it. Obviously, it's everyone speculating at this point. By the way, so they yeah. each had the they came out with um, public announcements. Um, not that mm. this is not curated for, you know, just kind of. All right, getting my thing right, out for there. for the public. Exactly. Yes. So here's Tom Brady. He says, in recent days, my wife and I finalized our divorce from one another after 13 years. You know, obviously, they're using words like amicably and gratitude and blessed and beautiful, wonderful children. And we'll yeah, continue to work right. together. We arrived at this decision uh, to end our marriage after much consideration. It's painful, yada, yada, yada. We kindly ask for privacy and respect as we navigate through this. And then she says, you know, same tr same words. With gratitude and humbleness, we have fi amicably finalized divorce. Same words, same words. Like they script, scripted it together. My prior, my priority has always been will continue to be our children, right? We love our children. We're co-parenting, all that. The decision to end our marriage is never easy. Yada, yada, yada. We've grown apart. Yada, yada, yada. I wish the best. Yada, yada, yada. We kindly ask for privacy during these difficult times. Yeah. Thank you, Giselle. So obviously you, just, you can't take a lot of that other than that they, they were at least on the same page. But there's stories out there that, um, you know, that there was a lack of sex in the marriage, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. something I'm sure you're familiar with, it's like, show me the hottest chick in the world, I'll show you a dude right. who's sick of banging her, right? Tired right. of banging yeah. her. So, like, could that possibly be a, the case in your expert opinion, speculating? Yes, 100%. <laughs> and I feel on the flip side, she's probably tired of banging him, too. Like, really? Mm. Ooh, yeah, well, when it gets paid... It gets past just attraction. There's a lot more to sparking that sexual desire in the person. And then you throw kids into the mix. It's like you just suck all the sexuality of yeah. out of your relationship. So I think 100% that's probably so, what happened. And, and but you, yeah. And, and that's what that's most marriages too. When I, like, especially if you throw kids into the mix, that is most marriages. Marriage is really freaking hard. But I mean, the, the thing that, I'm enjoying most about marriage is that 
I grow and I learn and it's challenging. And I have weeks at a time where I have hated my husband. And that is, that is a truth and a reality. I have hated him. I have hated him so much where I've wanted to do horrible things to really? him. Really? But oh. for weeks at those, a time, Marnie? For weeks at a time, because I'm so, I have so much animosity and anger towards him. This is before we started doing these safe conversation courses. Um, I mean, again, it ebbs and flows, but there's, there's things that happen in your relationship where you're, you just feel so unheard or so unseen or so unsupported that this tension starts to build up and you feel a certain way about your significant other. And hopefully you can grow together so that you can heal that grow from that and become better and stronger from that, which I, I have to be honest from an example of myself, that is what's happening within my own marriage um, where we are in an amazing place now and a better place than we've been for the past probably four years because we have, we have two children now and that is really tough on a relationship. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another, or if you want to watch the entire sauce cast, click right here.